came to Siren this afternoon. So we would welcome your going with us. Six weeks ago, when I visited our friends and allies in Europe, I found a warm response to this nation's call for a global campaign for freedom. Our straightforward criticism of totalitarian regimes and our willingness to promote the ideals of individual liberals who wish to subordinate the individual to the state, I was confronted with a hard in Berlin. A gray, grim monument of steel and stone stands at an American nation after nation has fallen prey to an idea that's been accomplished instead by military force or by subversion practiced by a tiny revolutionary cadre means the single greatest peril to peace among the nations. First decided to commemorate the heroism and fortitude of those living in nations in which the right of self-determination is ready and again enjoy the dignity of the since that, since that first captive nation's resolution passed by the Congress, We've seen equally distressing examples of the assault on the human spirit. The independent people of Afghanistan are giving their lives, resisting aggression of the bloodiest kind. And again in Poland, the suppression of the rights of Polish workers, the imprisonment of the leaders of solidarity. All of this sustained and directed by Soviet military might is another tragic chapter in the quest of the Polish people for freedom and national sovereignty. That's evasions and subterfuges. Uh, we in the West have at our command weapons far more potent than defeat, deceit, and subterfuge. We have the power of truth. Truth that can reach past the stone and steel walls of the police state and create campaigns for freedom and coalitions for peace in communist countries. Their borders, we appeal to you for the same appreciation of the power of ideas and the effectiveness of broadcasting as their carrier. In the long run, it may prove to be the least expensive and the most effective option at your disposal. Well, today let me make it clear that we intend to move forward, consistent with budgetary requirements, with a program to modernize our primary means of international communication, our international relations. Millions of people living under communist rule to hear the truth about the struggle for the world going on today between the forces of totalitarianism and freedom. The sad fact is that the voice of a devastating bombing of Radio Free Europe and Radio Liberty's headquarters last year. I want to extend my appreciation to the Congress for agreeing recently to reorganize the management of these international broadcasting channels. And I especially want to urge them today to approve the funds so desperately needed to bring to the people of Cuba through Radio Marti the hey! truth about the struggle between freedom and Even the most repressive police states must feel. We're confident that in Poland, in Afghanistan, and in all the captive nations, the forces of totalitarianism have won only a temporary, fleeting victory.
Here, hold the phone. It's the 19th. 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 Yes, that's right.